Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Sunday, June 1st, 2017. So, it's June. I already talked about uh, this crazy passage of time. Oh dear, we are already in the six months of uh, this year and it's unbelievable. It's absolutely crazy. So, yeah, I don't want to talk so much about the effects of the passage of time, but I will discuss a thing that yeah, that, that took place a long time ago, that took place over three billion years ago. Three billion years ago. That's a really long time. And uh, this event lasted only one third of a second. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So yeah, I will talk about uh, this thing in just a bit. But first I like or need or I want to address a certain problem because things are starting to look grim and desperate and yeah i'm talking about my upcoming study it's uh, not good it's not good at all i am really disappointed that so far i only received 20 applications and the study is to start about in one week so it will start on june 12th and um yeah, having only 20 participants so far is not good. It's not good at all. Especially as I intended to have three groups. And so if I would have only 20 participants, then I would have two groups of seven and one group of six. And that's pretty bad because in the end, participants drop out. And um, yeah, this never is good. So I'm really concerned. I'm super concerned about the the study I might have to to change to a two group condition but um, yeah this this completely destroys the experiment well it does not completely destroy the experiment I still can get a lot of data out of this but I can't really do what I intended to do and this would be super sad so I also tried to do some advertisement. I tried to yeah, inform the students again, hey, there's a study coming up. You can only benefit from it. And so I visited the lecture. I um, did some small advertisement there. I visited a training a class, a training session to, to inform them about, hey, there's a study. Do you want to join? It's it's uh, you you can only gain positive things from it, but yeah, so far this hasn't really had a good effect. I guess since I did those additional advertisement sessions, I only received three additional applications or so, so not really that much, and it's it's super disappointing. It's it's really sad. Um, yeah, so I'm. I guess at some point I need to do something about this because this is looking weird. Maybe just having some pillars or so. Oh, speaking of pillars, I still need to have those structural pillars for my for my bridge. And I'm just over here because I like to find a way how I can continue the path so that it goes out to the lighthouse and I have no good idea how I can do this or where I should do this because um, yeah, going down here would be pretty complicated. I might need to follow the runway and well I think I should get my horse because I'm apparently traveling over a larger distance so let's uh, let's just get the horse so yeah I'm I'm super disappointed that I don't have that much of participants and yeah I, I don't know what is going on with the students because uh, the first time I did this experiment by the way I'm talking once again about my training game so it's now the the third study with the training game this time even with uh, we are version so should be really interesting but yeah the first time i did this experiment i had i don't know i think 40 participants in total or so and i had three three groups so it was okay groups of 
more than 20 people is, is pretty good. But uh, yeah, then, then came the, the second experiment. This was last year and uh, I can remember how I was complaining about a last year study because there it was at first a good start. I think I had about 40 applications or so, but in the end only 20 participants survived because um, they constantly dropped out. Um, they, well, they, they don't really dropped out, but they missed a uh, training session and well, I, I can only use uh, those participants that were present in all of the training sessions. So in this case, uh, yeah, but it was bad. And in the end I had only, I don't know, 20, 24 participants left or so. So this was also quite a devastating. And now I don't even have the amount of participants that was left in the previous session. So in the previous study, in this case, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. I'm, I'm pretty disappointed and um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there is really a way how I can fix this problem. There's not really a, a good method what I can do. I mean, I can't force them to do something. So this is, this is really super sad and disappointing and yeah, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all as you, you might imagine. And um, yeah, so, so much about this. It's, oh dear, it's, it's not good. It's, it's no fun at all. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just, well, it's not really that I want to finish my PhD because of this. It's just, I like to finish the PhD because I'm working on it for, four and a half years and um, yeah, it's about time that it comes to an end. But um, last year I already thought, okay, I hope I don't have to do such a, such a training condition again, because it's, it's really complicated to get these students and to get participants. And now I tried again and um, it's, it's even worse. So yeah, I'm, I'm just super sad right now. I'm just super bummed out disappointed and um, so yeah no fun no fun at all um, I think I think it would be nice I think the best way getting down here is probably pretty impossible because they are very very steep cliffs so I don't think I can get down here I really like the shape of the lighthouse. This looks this looks really awesome. I I'm super happy with my construction over there, but yeah, I don't think I can get down there. So the the best way would be probably, and I can't have the, I think I could have the pass going along this coastline, but no, I think the best thing would be to go along the runway, then somehow cross over here, get down here, so that I get somehow down this way, um, your, your, your head and neck is a little bit in the way, so that I somehow get down here and then I can follow this line, follow this line over to the lighthouse. I think this would be the best way. I think this would be really the, the, best, the best idea to get over there, but I don't think that I like to do it now. I think, hmm, I think I like to connect the bridge at first. I think I like, yeah, I, I think this is really a good idea. I like to connect the bridge first. And uh, once I'm done with the connection of the bridge, maybe I do have a good idea for um, the material of the pillars for the bridge. And um, yeah, I, I think I will do, do this because um, this will be, a little bit too too crazy to continue with the pass pulling activities. No, I think I think really I like to connect the bridge first. And now I just like to take a brief look into this small little ravine. This looked really interesting from above, and I guess it is even interesting. Horse, I'll stay here. Do I have some uh, torches? Yes, I do have some torches. Horse, don't don't wander off. We we need to investigate that that oh there's some coal that place oh this this is a nice this is a nice cave it's it's even pretty 
it's a it's a symmetrical cave. Look at that. This is cool. A natural symmetric cave. Awesome. This is cool. I like it. I, I think I need to do something with that cave. I'm not quite sure what, but uh, this is cool. This is awesome. Naturally generated. Awesome. Cool. I like it. Um, I do have a bed, which is good because it's about... Yeah, we can already see the stars. Um, horse, I guess I guess we will we will have the first night in this naturally generated symmetrical cave. This this is awesome. I like it. Okay, um enough of that. The poor bad. The poor bad is confused. Um just just leave now. Just leave now, bad. Okay, let's let's go to Oh dear, there's a skeleton. Let's go to bed. Um Another thing this, that is, well, a little bit contributing to my my general disappointment, basically. Uh, I, I, I really... Oh. Don't... Oh, you, you... Horse. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, let's, let's try it this way. Ow! Horse! Oh, you fool! Can you please stop shooting my horse? Oh dear. Horse, I'm, I'm super sorry. I'm super sorry that this, this stupid skeleton... Wow. Wow. Oh, no, no, no. Ow, 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 ow. Um... Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, horse. I'm super sorry that uh, this is a super bad skeleton has hurt you that much. All right, come on, come on, horse. We we will leave now. Oh dear, this is, um, how do I? No, um, okay, that's the way how I do this. Pretty awesome, okay. Symmetrical cave, pretty cool. Um, yeah, one thing that is, well, it's, it's not really contributing to my misery in uh, general, it's just, yeah, the, the temperatures are not only a problem because I don't feel that that great when it's so warm it's and it's so demanding and bad. It's it's also disappointing because I really like to have a creative outlet. I really like to to record some videos just just to relax. For me, doing this this video this YouTube thing is is really a relaxing thing. I mean, especially the coffee break, talking about all the things going on, and um, but also dirt rally, just just having fun with with racing and um, well, all the games, all the games are super fun and. So I really enjoy it to play games, to commentate, create videos. So this is really relaxing. But unfortunately, with this um, yeah heat wave going on, also the the constant sunshine all the time, I have temperatures of more than thirty five centigrade in my office. Once I get back home from work, it's bad. It's it's super bad and even opening the windows makes no sense because it's so warm outdoors so I can't cool down the the office within a short amount of time and um, yeah this this leads to the problem that I can't record I can't record a video once I am back home and um, I, I tried it I tried it to to do something creative to to produce something but it all the time results in okay. I'm I'm just sweating like crazy. It's it's not feeling good. It's not feeling very interesting, very productive or so. So it's it's just disappointing. And um, yeah, I I don't know. I I don't. Well, there there is no there is no chance. I just have to wait for, for better weather basically. But this is also. Um, yeah, making me sad or I really feel I like to be creative. I like to have uh, some some creative outlet. I like to do something, produce something, but I just can't do it. I also tried to, and this is what I talked about in a previous episode, to, to use those small little 
um, videos I recorded when I was hiking over the uh, the weekends when I uh, spent some time visiting the the old place or so and um, I just did some some hiking there and I recorded small little videos to edit those together to have some some small two minute long videos or so no commentary or anything or so just just nature basically and some music I think it's 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 nice it's um, I feel those those videos are are okay they they are not great videos of course but I think they are they are still interesting because they show a little bit nature and nice stuff so I guess they they could be of interest for you and they they will go live on my other YouTube channel but the problem is um, so how do I like to go from here maybe somehow around this tree can I can I do this somehow this would be interesting let's let's see if I can somehow bend this pass around um, but yeah, even just sitting and editing videos isn't possible because it's way too warm. It's way too warm in my office and um, so I'm, I'm constantly thinking I, I need to do something creative. I need to do something video related or so, but I can't do it because of the, the hot temperature. So um, yeah, I, this is really bums me out as well. and. Well, there, there's there's no no real solution to that problem. Well, aside from waiting for the end of this stupid summer or so, but still, it's as you might guess, it's it's just disappointing and um, no fun, no fun at all. So yeah, it is what it is, and I I just feel that it contributes to the to the um, no this was too much that it contributes to to my my general disappointment basically so yeah just just that. <laughs> I just wanted to, to talk about this. And uh, yeah, before we now run out of time, I need to go fishing. I still need to go fishing. Let's talk about this other crazy thing. Three, three billion, three billion years ago, within a third of a second, two black holes collided and caused ripples in in the time basically so this uh, we we measured those those uh, waves those gravitational waves and uh, that's a super cool this is this is just just crazy that we that we are able to measure this that we are able to prove einstein's um, theory of real real live no. Uh, Einstein's theory of relativity Ow. and um, hey, that's neat and um, so that's that's uh, super cool the final black hole that resulted out of the 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 merging of the the two black holes has a mass of 49 suns the mass of 49 suns to me it's all the time super crazy to think about the those those numbers because I mean even the the mass of one sun or the mass of a planet even the the mass of a lorry I mean that, that that's a huge car that's a, that's a gigantic truck basically and um, I know it's heavy but getting the dimensions I mean uh, it's it's really hard. If we talk about one kilogram or so, then okay, we know this has the the mass of one pack of sugar or so. I mean, sure, this this makes sense. There we we can imagine this. If we think of I don't know three tons or so, then it's it's a huge jeep or so, or um, I I guess the the hammer this. 
this 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 crazy super Jeep off-road military vehicle. I guess this has a, a mass of 2.5 tons or 3 tons or so. So we can at least get a certain understanding. But then when we talk about rockets, for instance, I mean, uh, space flight, I'm very interested in. So it's, it's a good example that comes to my mind. Then the thing, it's as tall as a uh, large uh, building. It's, it's, it's basically a flying house. So we, we get only the idea how large this thing is when we see people standing right next to it. And uh, this already is mind blowing. Then we hear, all right, this thing has a mass of so many tons. And what? <laughs> I mean, this is crazy in the end. This gigantic rocket, this gigantic, gigantic booster launches something of a size of a car. And um, yeah, just just the, the relation of it to see, okay, they launch this small thing and they need a, such a huge building to, to launch this thing. So this, this is also crazy. But yeah, um, and then we, we talk suddenly about the mass of a sun. I mean, there, there are a lot of, there are a lot of <laughs> digits in this, um, in, in the mass of a sun. And suddenly this black hole has the mass 49 times of a sun. I mean, what? This, this is, this is mind blowing. This is, this is crazy. It's, I think it's, it's really hard for, for the human brain or even impossible to really get get a feeling for those numbers what those numbers mean i mean they sound huge and they are huge and they are impressive but um i guess it's a little bit beyond our capabilities beyond our uh, imagination to say okay this this really makes sense to me or so or this yep that's that's a black hole that's if i if i hear this 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 mass and I think, okay, this, this feels about like like a black hole, like the the standard black hole you can grab in the shelves of your of your grocery store. Oh dear, um, would they would they sell black holes in a grocery store? I mean, would this be a thing? Would this be something of interest for a grocery store to to sell some black holes? I don't know. Um, maybe you can use a black hole as a waste disposal, like in The Simpsons or so. But I doubt this would be healthy for the environment or so. The the new the new thing to to solve the trash problem. We just throw it into a black hole. Oh dear. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's that's beside the point. So it's it's just just crazy and am amazing that they were able to measure those. Oh dear creeper. That they were able to to measure those gravitational whales. Uh, whales. Gravitational whales. Yeah. That's that's true. <laughs> those uh, gravitational waves that were caused by the merger of those two black holes. And this happened within a third of a second. I mean, you have those gigantic, huge, massive things and they collide of course I mean if you have a collision then then it is fast I mean um, I can't imagine that this thing is a very very slow process but uh, still yeah, this this is crazy this is so much energy and I think they are they also said the the energy that was released and that caused those those gravitational waves. Um, how many sun masses was this? It, it was. It was crazy. It was not just one mass. Uh, the the energy of one sun, basically. I think. Um, dang it! I, I haven't noted this uh, this number, but it's still crazy. It's just crazy. Such a, such a high amount of energy was released as those two black holes collided. So, wow, wow. We are we are just small. We are super small and we we try to to control nature. I mean um I guess a few people need to to rethink a little bit their 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 position in 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 the in the general scheme of things, but well um, that's, that's beside the point. It's also at the end of this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Until then, my name is Abby.
See you. Thank you.